10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Seconds into flight, 33 out of 33. Avionics engines. power and telemetry nominal. Getting good call outs, healthy systems on the booster as it starts to pitch over over the Gulf. All right, we're a little over one minute into flight, about to pack through Max Q. Max Q. All right, so we are through the period of maximum dynamic pressure, max stress on the vehicle as it continues to fly. Our next major event is going to be hot staging, which is ha happening in just over 90 seconds from now. Uh, to get ready, the booster will shut down all but three of its Raptor engines. The clamps holding the two stages together will release, and the Starship second stage ignites its engines. The ship then separates from the super heavy booster and heads to space. At the same time, the three engines still firing on Super Heavy will flip the booster around. Ten more engines will ignite for the boost back burn, putting the first stage on the path for splashdown in the Gulf. As we mentioned earlier, the hot stage will be jettisoned for this flight, and that should occur just after the boost back burn. Uh, so we're about to shut down the first stage and perform hot staging. So let's just watch and listen. All right, seeing the engine start to throttle down. Miko. Ship ignition. Boost back start startup. Stage separation. Stage separation confirmed. We've got six engines running on ship. Booster is doing its boost back burn, continuing now towards its splashdown site in the Gulf. We are seeing all six Raptors nominal. lit up on ship. You heard them report ship chamber pressures nominal, so that chamber pressure, just that expected thrust level in those Raptor engines on the ship. Three vacuum optimized, ship three sea level, all looking nominal. good. There's a view into the business end from the ship. Respect burn shut down. All right, so at this point, we finished our boost back burn. So that was shut down. So that's the, the first of the two burns after a launch that the booster is going to do today. So now it's headed towards the Gulf. It's not going to be quite as an aggressive of a flight down. We relax that angle of attack a little bit. But we are then going to be looking for it to do its engine tests for the landing burn. And those are going to be a little unique this time. Yeah, typically we start with all 13 center inner engines lit for that landing burn and bring that down to just the center three. Uh, but one of our test objectives for today is to simulate what an engine out situation would look like. So we're going to be intentionally turning off one of those center three and instead lighting one of the engines from the middle 10 ring. 
Yeah, we did see one of those engines in the middle ring shut down during the initial asset. Oh, looks like we have hot stage jettison. You can see it floating away there to the left of the booster. Yeah, we did see one of those middle engines shut down during the ascent. Again, we are resilient to engine out on super Start heavy. That's why we're able to get through our ascent. Starship flying on the expected path. There's still a chance that engine could be back in the mix for the very start of the landing burn. So we'll see if we light up all 13. But we've, I mean, we've even done a landing burn at the tower with an engine out. So very resilient. We'll see how it does on its way down to the Gulf, though. All right, so we got a couple of minutes. That landing burn start should be uh, just about 40 seconds away. That's always rad. You can see the can see the boost plume itself in the background as it was coming in. All right, about twenty seconds to landing burn. Ship Raptor chamber pressure is nominal. All right, here we go. Landing burn startup. Looks like we got 12 of those 13. Down to three, including one of the middle ring. Down to two. Nice little hover. And landing burn shut down. And into the gulf, here we come. And the booster has splashed down. Incredible flight for booster today. Meanwhile, back in space, about seven minutes into today's flight, ship continuing its ascent burn. This goes until just about nine minutes into our flight. That ship engine cutoff is slated for eight minutes and 57 seconds. We are going to see those three RVAC, the Raptor vacuum engines, those are the bigger circles and that little indicator on the bottom right of your screen, those will shut down first. And we continue burning for a couple seconds longer on those inner three before we hit Seco, or second engine cutoff. Yeah, these views are looking great. Once again, thanks to Starlink for, for getting us these views. It's just incredible. And we just heard the sound from Booster. It's like we just we just got a a late boom from the booster. Yeah, we have ship engine cutoff coming up here just shortly. And as we mentioned, today's flight test is not an orbital flight, but rather one that demonstrates the Starship's orbital capability. Starship from terminal guidance. All right, entering the final phase of this burn. Under 30 seconds to go. All right, shut down the vacuum engines. Ship engine cutoff. We shut down those center three. Successful ship engine cutoff. Seco, baby. There we go. That's what we want. <laughs> nominal orbit insertion. All right, we just heard the call out for nominal orbital insertion. 